1633, Galileo Galilei stood before the Roman Inquisition, accused of heresy for claiming that the earth revolves around the sun. He was speaking of the heliocentric system, and it was contradictory to the Catholic Church's doctrine of the geocentric system. So they sentenced him to house arrest, under which he remained for his rest of his life. But nearly 2,000 years earlier, another man had already faced punishment, not for moving the earth, but for redefining the sun. He was Anaxagoras, and his punishment was severe. But let's start from the beginning. Anaxagoras was a pre-Socratic philosopher. Pre-Socratics tried to explain the world through reason, observation and logical analysis, rather than relying on mythological narratives. This marked a profound intellectual shift in human history, the move from mythos to logos. Anaxagoras taught that the sun is fiery stone and that the moon is made of earth-like material and shines by reflecting the light of the sun. But for the ancient Greeks, religion was necessary and interwoven with their life. To them, sun was clearly a god who travelled from east to west on his chariot every day. He was Helios. And they couldn't accept some philosopher's rational interpretation of their most sacred beliefs. So, in 433 BC, they deemed him dangerous, tried him for impiety, and exiled him. Some argue that although charged with impiety, his exile was as much a strike against his ideas as it was a move against his powerful ally and friend Pericles.